Welcome to our tutorial about hole placement. First, let's create a sketch. Something like this. And let's close our profile. Right click, done. Let's apply an equal relation here. Right click, done. And let's apply some dimensions. This one will be half an inch. The angle here, let's make it 150 degrees. And click OK. Now we're ready to exit the sketch. Activate the extrude command. Extends, distance, 2 inches, and OK. Let's take a home view. Now let's create one more sketch. Right click, new sketch. Let's activate the point tool. Drop our point about here. Let's dimension the position of this point now. We'll make it half an inch from this edge. OK. And half an inch from this edge as well. OK. Let's exit the sketch. Now we'll activate the hole command. Currently, the only available placement option is from sketch. With this option, you can create a hole that's normal to the sketch. Let's cancel out of the hole command dialog window for now and let's explore how we can create a hole at a different angle. I've selected work point. I'm going to place it right here. Let's go back to the hole command. Now we can select the on point placement option. Then I'll select this point and this edge. The rest of the options we'll leave as is and click OK. As you see, we obviously have a problem. Let's view this in wireframe mode. View, wireframe. We can solve this problem in two ways. One, I'll create a sketch right here. Finish the sketch. Extrude. Extruded cut. Select other. And OK. Now let's go back to shaded view. And here is our hole. OK, let's delete extrusion 2 and hole 1. Click OK to remove the sketches as well. Now I'm going to create an axis that goes through this point parallel to this edge. What I want to do here is create a point along this axis that's half an inch from this point. I'll be using a grounded point. OK, let's select this point. The triad appears. Let's click Redefine. We'll select this axis and this work axis. Now select the axis again. Let's type 0.5. Apply and OK. Let's take a minute to show how grounded points work. A grounded point isn't tied to any geometry. Let's check it out. I can grab the center of the triad and drag it around freely. I can also select a triad plane and drag those around. I'm able to select an axis and rotate it. Let's say 45 degrees. Apply. If I click the arrow, I'll be able to move the triad in the X direction. To reorient the triad axis, simply click Realign. Let's select this axis and this edge. OK, let's cancel out of this tool. Let's return to our hole now. We'll activate the hole command. Select on point from the placement drop down menu. Select this point and this work axis for our direction. As you can see, the hole now originates above the drilled face.
If you want to have a one inch deep hole, you need to add half an inch to compensate for the offset of the origination point. Let's go ahead and click OK. And let's place one more hole. We'll put it on the midpoint of this edge. Let's activate the hole command again. This time we'll use a countersink hole. From the placement drop down menu, we can choose on point. We'll select our point. For direction, let's use this work axis. Here's our preview in red outline. Let's click OK. Uh oh, we don't see the hole at all. Let's go to wireframe mode to understand what's going on. Let's make some changes to our sketch. Select this face. There we go. And finish the sketch. Now activate the extrude command. Let's select this profile and this one. Extruded cut. Let's reverse the direction. Click OK. Let's go back to shaded view. And lastly, let's create a new sketch. I want to show you one more thing. Let's activate the line tool. Place a line right about here, right click, done. Let's make it a construction line. We'll apply some dimensions. Let's say it'll be at 50 degrees. OK. Finish the sketch. Now let's place a work point. There we go. And activate the hole command. Placement. Actually, let me cancel out of the hole command for a moment. I need to create a work axis based on this sketch. OK, now we can activate the hole command. Placement on point. Select our point, axis, reverse direction, and click OK. As you can see, we're not able to select a sketch line for a direction, but we're able to create a working axis from it and use that instead. And this concludes our tutorial about hole placement.